Hi, Sean Kotcha here at Mill Creek Valley Game Calls. Today we're going to talk about our walnut pot with the gray slate. Now, when you order a call from our website, you have the option of getting any colored slate. We are the first game call company to use all the different colored slates, red, purple, gray, and what we do and what I'm going to have done is I want to do some what you do once you purchase this, you get it home, how we scuff it up, how we run a striker on it, how we do um, yelps, uh, clucks, that kind of thing. So first thing you're going to find in your package um, when you purchase a call from us is a burgundy scuff pad. We want to use burgundy scuff pad because we don't want to use the green one because the green one has oil in it. The burgundy is the best. That's what I throw in a package. Now, once you get your pot call, you're going to see around here, there's a wee little circle that I have that I've been playing the striker around. You can see already marked. That is our sweet spot. It's about a quarter of an inch <coughs> to a half inch the whole way around. What I want to do is we want to go back and forth here. Okay? I tell everybody this is the easiest, easiest way to do is back and forth. Now, the reasons why I do that is, is you're going to see these lines. These lines are there. We're going to be playing across these lines. Now, we're going to pick that half inch to a quarter inch down from the top. We don't want to start up here at the end because you're going to hear a difference. That doesn't sound right. We're going to, we come down to a half an inch to a quarter of an inch now. And we have the right sound. Now, the other thing about a paw call that I want to tell everybody is, is you want to hold it up. See these little holes in the back? We want to keep this up. If we had it down like this, it's going to muffle the sound. If we hold it up here, we're allowing the sound to travel out of it. Now, we're going to start off with the yelp. It's either going to be the J hook, or we're going to do small circles. I sort of like the small circles myself because it's a little bit easier. Now, we're going to start at our half inch, quarter inch down. Now, we're running across them lines. Now, when we want to do the, the putt or cluck, we also, the way that we're going to hold our striker, I, mean, I sort of like it with the crab claw. I can put my thumb pressure on this and lighten it or ease it up on as I'm calling with the, the surface. We're going to put it at a 45 degree angle and we're going to run it across these lines. And we can keep going the whole way around the pot. Now, we can also do the purr. Now remember, we're going across that line. We're going to gently drag it across just the tip of the striker. Throw a couple little putts in there. Now, putting more pressure down on the top of the striker where the point is, and pushing down on it harder and putting more, more pressure on the thumb will get it louder. Okay, and that'll, that'll finish us up with the... Uh, slate part.